So, I just got out of seeing the newest G-Kids film, Oko Zen. And it was pretty good. Uh, it's a Tuesday night, uh, I smell like beer, and uh, there's people uh, right next to my car who can see me filming. Uh, so I'm in a very open area in the mall in the parking lot right now, so this is not, so I'm not gonna, I stand out like a sore thumb. So, but anyway, my thoughts on this movie. Um, I thought it was pretty good. Uh, not great, but I'd enjoy it. Uh, so basically the premise of this film is um, this girl named Oko, um, uh, this is gonna seem very spoilerish, but it's just this is how the film is. Um, so the film's about this girl named Oko who um, she uh, she loses her parents on a car accident, and so she has to move in with her uh, grandmother who owns an inn, and you know she has to take up this responsibility to become she wants to take up this responsibility to become an innkeeper, and at the same time she's um, seeing ghosts. She sees some ghosts that belong to different inns. Because because she had a very uh, see that car's leaving because she had like a near death experience. I mean she can see them and only she can see them, and uh, they all have connections to like um, other people. But that's for you to see the movie. Um, no, but I like it. And uh, this film was directed uh, was directed by a guy who's uh, never directed a feature length film before. But he's been I can't remember his name, but he has done uh, worked been in animation for years and worked on some iconic films like uh, Akira. Uh, Howl's Moving Castle, like so many iconic anime films, and I'm like, wow, how's this guy never worked on something before, but now he has, and, you know, I like it, it wasn't great, um, some aspects of it are a little weird, like, um, the things I don't like, uh, if I can get that out of the way, uh, the first two acts are very, the tone of them is very mixed up, like, at some point, you know, at one point you could just be sitting in an end just talking to a ghost and suddenly you have a nice beautiful moment with like flowers falling from the sky in a place that you don't know how they teleported there. And then one scene, uh, you see, uh, Oko's gonna go visit uh, a, uh, you know, or someone who, a customer. And then suddenly there's it gets all dark and eerie and scary because she's like a fortune teller who has to be in a black room and she's got a really creepy look on her face. And I'm like, what the hell? And then the next scene is uh, she has a PTSD on the road and then a shopping spree. Like from Fat Albert, yeah, or every other uh, crappy movie that's done that. Yeah, it's kind of, yeah. I will say that the third act of the movie does kind of keep, like, keep a consistent tone and feel like it's actually going somewhere. Because, not that it doesn't in other places, it's just, like I said, the tone is just very, very off. But uh, the thing that I do like about this movie was, you know, like I said, the flowers falling from the, from the sky, like, they're... It does have like very genuine like beautiful moments like that that just seem so enriched and more people are seeing me doing this and this is weird so I'm gonna try to make this quick. Um, I did like it. Um, you know, another problem I would have had is that it's sometimes the the ghosts. I feel like there's a lot of rules for for this universe, but yet they're never really explained. Like uh, there's a scene where one of the ghosts uh, transports um, Oko to a beautiful uh, meadow where, like I said flowers falling from the sky and it's like uh how can he do this uh is she is she imagining this is all manifested in, in her mind is he manifesting this and then there's parts where i was confused at first but like oko keeps that keeps those feelings really in because she has some serious ptsd where um she thinks she can see her parents and throughout the whole movie she's like in denial about it and I was like, wait, can she see them? Are they actually ghosts, like the ones that she's talking to, or is she just seeing them? And leave it up the. And it kind of comes obvious, but you know, I'll leave it up to the people who actually want to see this movie. You probably can't see it in theaters right now. I'm not sure because I saw it on the last day that it was in. It was it was out uh, yesterday in English, and then it came out today in the the Japanese dub, and I'm fine with that. This was the only day I could get switched. I usually work Tuesdays, but I had to switch this for... I'm going to work on Thursday. You guys don't know. You guys don't care. But, um... If you like anime, you know, it wasn't like... I did like it. And Oko is a very interesting character. In a way, she kind of reminds me of, um... Uh, I forget her name, but the main character from a Whisper of the Heart. But... Can't say any reasons why, but... <laughs> um... I like it, and, um, you know, if you have a chance to see it, I recommend, you know, going to see it. it might, it's kind of, like, on the same level as, like, Mirai, which I didn't think was great, but I did still like it. So, I don't have much to say right now, because I still, like, I just got out of the theater, so some things I probably had to process first. But, I recommend, but, you know, um, see it for yourself. Uh, if you want to see Oko's in, 
check it out. And you know, hey, you might have a good time. You might have been like it better than I did. You may hate it, but I don't know. That's up to you. So check it out and uh, take it easy.